So a lot of engineers kind of are always tinkers, and that's, you know, true for me too. I mean, when I was young, I, my mom would tell stories about how I was three years old and I'd just play with Legos all day without being distracted. And so that evolved into more sophisticated electronics that you get to tinker with. Fortunately, I did an, an internship at Tektronix in 2010 and I fell in love with it. A lot of the people that I met there are still here today. I mean, I've been here nine and a half years and I'm the young guy. I learned that I could be in the semiconductor business and not have to be a PhD genius at the same time. We like to have fun and we do have fun at the same time. I'm in a bowling league with some friends and we'll go out and try to beat each other in bowling. It's really easy to work around the technology of virtual if you already like the people that you're working with. So you're just gonna figure out the details. Our systems team was working on a big project for a single customer, and unfortunately we had to cancel it. The innovation that we were working on originally was this test head design. And this test head design was to allow us to be a drop-in replacement for competitors. And there's a large cost to change it. And so we took what was a very large test head and probably shrunk it down to a third of the size in the Lazarus project. And that reduced the cost by a ton. So what we did is kind of targeted several customers to focus on, to be like, this is what we have, and we know we need to make some tweaks to it, but we think that there's something here that has value for you. And so that's what Lazarus was, was kind of taking where we started from and turning it into something that was valuable for the customer. So it was exciting just to be nominated for the Ford of Innovation Award. We're all very proud of the Lazarus project. It's been exciting. We believed in the innovation that we had. So one of Ford's models that we've kind of really leveraged is the we build great teams. That's how we got through both the single project obstacle and the COVID obstacles is because of our great team. Uh, there's a, a bullying term that my teammates have lovingly teased me that they call the Brian. And what the Brian is, is when I throw a gutter ball and then immediately pick up all the next pins with a spare. When I think about our previous big project that we were talking about, that was unfortunately a gutter ball. And yet somehow we still knocked all the pins down on the next time to get our spare.